I used to do presentations and talk to the staff. <laughs> At times, the, that's all gone now. Primary progressive aphasia is the term we used to refer to a set of dementias that affect a person's ability to use uh, language. Progressive non-fluent aphasia, which is also known as the non-fluent agrammatic variant of PPA, is a disorder of expressive communication. So it either affects a person's uh, ability to produce speech uh, or it affects the ability to, to use grammar uh, appropriately. Uh, and it can affect people in terms of how they speak and also in terms of, of how they write as, as well. It it affects the telephone most. And I used to wave my hands about in facial expressions. I can't do anything like they're on the phone. The person might notice that their speech is becoming more effortful, it's becoming harder for them to, to, sort of to produce words. And they might notice this particularly in the high pressure situations. Having previously done speeches and presentations, Bill struggled to start with. It was very frustrating for him. Progressive non-fluent aphasia is, uh, it falls within the, the wider group of dementias known as the frontotemporal dementias. So. We know that uh, the same proteins that are involved in frontotemporal dementia are, are involved in, in progressive non-fluent aphasia. Bill has been a member of the Rare Dementia Support Group for about two years now. The group have supported Bill extremely well in various areas because you've got um, like-minded people and everybody shares their experiences and They've had speakers that have been particularly good in various areas. I've got a dietitian who keeps me fit. I go to speech therapy and they come up with strategic things that i can do on the telephone <laughs> and how to run my life. As he's become more, more confident, um, it's just a case of being a little more patient. They understand how I am doing. I get the message across